first thing I'm going to mention is the uh, Grant Avenue uh, Improvement Corporation, which has a huge impact on Grant Avenue, but they also stretch out. And uh, Mike Carlson is here this morning, and they have provided the refreshments for us this morning. So thank you very much. So with that, I am going to turn it over to uh, Cindy Greer. She is the uh, Park Board Chair at this mall, and she's going to do a little welcome. Thank you, Dell. Thank you all for coming today. Uh, not for one dedication, but two. We have a number of notable dignitaries here with us. We have Park Board member Dave Socek and Mark Lawson. I see Dan, supervisor over there. Wave your hand. Uh, and George Moriarty is standing in for the mayor today. Oh, Bill, I didn't see it. He's protected by Nats. <laughs> Thanks for coming. We're honored also to have Barbara Wright, daughter of the donator of this beautiful structure here. Where are you, Barbara? There she is. And we have representatives from the Clay County Heritage Center and the Clay County uh, Trails Association to dedicate the trail. So let's start this twofer. <laughs> All right, thank you, Cindy. Um, yeah, we're just going to move on. Mayor uh, Kevin Robinson could be here today. He's uh, with his, uh, I'm not sure, son or his daughter with uh, sports activity. So, uh, but we do have uh, one of the good councilmen here, George Moriarty, who's going to say a few words. Thank you, Dale. We They're all good councilmen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Today I'm the appointed yeah, one. Well, Mayor Kevin Robinson uh, was called out of town today to, uh, with the family. Oh, and the whole okay. Now can you hear? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But the mayor was called out of town and he sent me a message via the email, the modern way today. He says a huge thank you to all those involved in the trail project and the shelter project. Your time and efforts continue to make Spencer a great place to live. I, as a member of the council, also thank the Park Board, the North Grand Preservation, for all their commitment and work on this park and shelter. A special thank you to Barbara Wright for their generous donation to make this shelter a reality. Also, thank you in recognition of all the organizations and individuals to follow that were involved in the uh, Iowa Great Lakes Trail System. They're all listed on your program. The team effort makes Spencer a great place to live. Therefore, I declare this is the right time for the right place and the right thing to do for the right folks. I declare this right day in Spencer, Iowa on this Saturday, June 15, 2019. Thank you. It seems like the council will kind of take over when the mayor leaves town. <laughs> when the cat's away, the mice will play. There you go. <laughs> Very good. Uh, one of the things about North School Park, you know, obviously it comes from the name, uh, there used to be a school here many years ago. I think it was an elementary school before my days. Um, but uh, we do have a historian here today. We have uh, Stephanie Horsley here today, and uh, I get the privilege of working with her with the Clay County Conservation or uh, the Conservation Board, the Convention Visitors Bureau. Uh, her husband happens to be uh, the director of the conservation at uh, Clay County Conservation. So I'm going to turn it over to Stephanie. Sounds good. Thanks, Del. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I said she would invite you this morning. That was my plan after this, because we have a calm day, right? Um, <laughs> so I, I'm happy to be here today. Um, Dell asked if I could do some research about the North School, which sounds like it would have been behind us, um, kind of uh, centered in this grassy area. Um, how many folks here in the audience remember the North School or went there to school? Awesome, awesome. So it was really interesting doing some research for this. Um, I thought I would have 
a lot of information, but as I started digging into our archival collections, I found that there wasn't as much information as I thought. So I've really gotten some great firsthand um, memories, and that's wonderful for us and we can keep that in our collection. Um, according to the 1971 Spencer Centennial book, a one-room schoolhouse was built on the north side of Spencer in 1887. This was actually the same year commencement exercises were held for the first time in Spencer, and five students graduated. In 1900, the Wooden North School building was replaced by a four-room brick structure costing $8,000. The original North School wooden structure actually became a house at 320 East 3rd Street, which is coincidentally right next to the Parker Museum, one of our museums. Um, and that's just on the east side of the museum. In 1925, an addition was built onto the um, newer North School, and according to the City of Spencer records, the North School was torn down around 1975. So one thing we do have um, a plethora of in our museum are pictures of the North School. Excuse me. Um, this is an older picture. You can kind of decipher, I don't have a date for this, but you can figure out by looking at the trees which picture is older. And then we have a lot of these postcards. And not only do we have North School pictures, we have a ton of photos of other schools that were um, in Spencer or Clay County. So you'll have to, if anyone's doing research, you'll have to come and check that out. So I was able to talk to some of our board members and community folks about their memories of North School. Most people who attended the school remember the fire escape slide that you would go down when they were, um, was you know, practicing to get out for fire. Some would remember the Beatles grocery store across the street, which it sounds like it was over here. Um, I had the pleasure of interviewing Mrs. Sharon Cryle about North School. She was my first grade teacher at Johnson, but she started teaching first grade there in 1957 or 58, and she explained how the lower grades were on the first floor, the upper grades were located on the second floor, special programs were held in the basement, and she remembers the stairway and large halls, which, which was where the coats and bags were kept, and this was called the cloak room. When Mrs. Cryle first started working there, um, the principal was Edna Hawkins. Unfortunately, Ms. Hawkins suffered a heart attack during the school year, so Mr. Ruben Rodness took over at North School while continuing to be a principal at another school in Spencer. Mrs. Cryle further remembers country students bringing sack lunches, while the in-town students went home for lunch. So those are some great memories, and I appreciate everyone that um, shared with me. I also want to thank um, Delray and the City of Spencer and the Clay County Trail Association for having us here today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you. Uh, certainly a lot of history in, in this little area here. And, uh, I guess uh, one of the things that's kind of what we're here celebrating, not only the history, but as we go forward, and, and we're certainly uh, uh, doing that. Um, so, you know, we're gonna move towards dedicating this, this pavilion. And, uh, but uh, if you look over, over here, you see uh, pictures of Robert Wright. Um, Bob is the guy I talked to as we went through this whole project. Um, and then, then his parents, Frank and Billy Wright, and so he donated this in their in their honor. And so, and, and he, Bob shared a few things with me. He just said, because uh, a lot of people didn't really seem to remember uh, Frank and Billy. And uh, I guess she managed uh, the dress shop down by Carol's um, Bakery. And uh, and I think his father did a number of different things. He was in the car business for a while. He was bad. He was bad. They went through the, the depression time. And so uh, it wasn't. Uh, uh, you know, a great time for him. Uh, Bob did a lot of different things. And as he came up, he graduated from Spencer High. Um, and he worked down at the theater and sold popcorn. That was one of his things he always remembered. And he was a lifeguard at the old swimming pool. Uh, so he, he had great recollections of that. But uh, so I, Bob uh, went along and um, he graduated from high school. Uh, went to Drake University for two years, and then he went to the University of Iowa for two years and got his degree. Uh, then he ventured off, I think, to, to the west and south, so to speak, and uh, was in land management. 
uh, with uh, of the oil company. So, and uh, it did did well for Spencer. And uh, but he always had a special special heart uh, for Spencer. Um, obviously, with with the donation of this this nature. So, you know, I, I, the thing I never personally got to meet Bob, but I did. Uh, talked about a lot of times and a lot of, he would call in the evenings and we would just talk about different things. It was sometimes a little bit about the project, but we would talk about Spencer, we would talk about Okaboji. He also had kind of a love for Lost Island Lake, which um, that's kind of where I'm from, and so we had a lot to talk about. But it was just a great, great uh, a relationship that we had and uh, couldn't be happier that uh, we got to, to do this. So. Um, so with that, I just uh, sometimes it's, it's great if we can connect faces and, and people and and, uh, and and the donation. Uh, and, and Bob, I was talking with Barbara and said he just loved to, to do this. So uh, and we loved him to do it too. So uh, so it worked both ways. So I think with that, uh, Mary Lou. Yes. Yeah. I think we're gonna we're gonna have a little ribbon cutting here. So, um, is uh, George? Where do you want to There we are. Let's just, can we just run it between the, the posts or maybe something you know, to hold it? Over this way? Or, yeah. Or right here? Let's well, so right here. We'll have all the people right here. Yeah. Barb, yeah. Barb, you'll come up here. Yes. And any of the other city people? And if uh, maybe uh, and the other councilmen and our board members want to come on up. Don't break the camera. Am I sharing the scissors with anyone? No, you're, you're the uh, scissors. I'm it. You know, we should, uh, if you haven't read the, uh, uh, the plaque in the background here, uh, this is something that uh, we put together as we're doing the project. Um, Robert shared the pictures, and then we did put this uh, plaque together. Billy and Frank Wright, Community of Spencer expresses with great gratitude the generous donation made in honor of Billy and Frank Wright by their son, Robert Wright. This gift exemplifies the spirit of the Wright family dedication and the devotion of the friends and neighbors of the Spencer community. So with that, let's go ahead and, and George. With this, I declare this the Wright Pavilion. <laughs> <laughs> So, we, like we said, we were going to have a twofer here today, uh, and so what we're going to do is just walk right over there to the trail, and if everybody can move over to that direction, and we'll have a little short dedication of that. So, we thought we should have just a, a little... I don't know, is this on? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just a kind of history overview of, of the trail system. We're here again to celebrate uh, the expansion of the trail system. Um, and so one of the things just want to talk briefly about how did we get here? You know, in 1991, we started our, our first trail out of Stolly Park. That was about a mile trail around that, and they kind of started the whole thing. And so then it wasn't until later in 1995, the recreational bond issue. Five hundred thousand dollars was allocated for trail development, and so what happened during that time period? We picked up different REIT grants, uh, Iowa Department of Transportation grants, and then we used the, the five hundred thousand dollars plus. Um, in the last few years, we've gone beyond that, but um, that's how it all got funded. You know, we have about a million and a half in REIT grants. You know, probably over two million in in uh, IDOT grants, and then of course the, the city. Uh, capital improvement fund money. So, uh, you know, so we, just different ones, you know, Leach Park, 98, uh, Stolly Park was 97, uh, Riverview, 98, Storybook, 99. So it, it was kind of a, a progressive, aggressive pro approach. Those are River Trail was 2011 and 12. Uh, 10th Avenue East was 19, 1999, 2000. Uh, Country Club Trail, uh, 1999. North School, uh, 213. Deerfield was 212. Westview, 213. Uh, Iowa Great Lakes Trail, 217. And, or 18th Street Trail was 217. And Iowa Great Lakes Trail was 2019. 
And so what we're doing here today is actually uh, dedicating not just uh, the trail actually begins here. And so this is actually North School Trail. It goes up to 18th Street. Uh, then we have the 18th Street Trail that goes across uh, the fairgrounds and then over to uh, 18th Avenue and then, then goes on the street at that point. But the, the, the one big one is Iowa Great Lakes Trail, which goes from the uh, 4th Avenue and 18th Street or Casey's there and goes north for about three and a half miles. And so talking with Dan, and he's got all he's got all the information if we can just get it out of him but anyway the, the county is working at this this point to move that trail uh, up to Fostoria. so that's in the process probably uh, next year right Dan is that yep. so so it's all in the works uh, and a lot of people have that question when's the next step so um, one of the things that uh, we talked a little about the funding and how that all gets done uh, you know, there's always a lot of people that are responsible for it. You know, certainly just the citizens of Spencer and Clay County and their donations to that through their taxes. Uh, we have the uh, Kevin Robinson, the mayor, and the city council, park board, and we can kind of recognize those people. Board of Supervisors, um, Bolton Make Engineered Engineering help with the shelter facility, and then of course we have the Iowa Department of Transportation. And that for resources for funding. Um, Northwest Iowa Development helps a lot in helping procure those grants uh, and administrate those grants. And then also with the Iowa Great Lakes Trail, we had um, uh, Cruz Kate Nelson Engineering uh, doing a lot of the work out there with the Fuller Engineering. So, um, and then we also had Bolton Mink doing the 18th Street. Thing. So we uh, want to recognize those people and thank them for their, their efforts. Kathy or Jason, who was, were you both talking? I'm back here. I'm back here. Oh, you're back. We had to get away from the bugs. <laughs> Thank you, Delray. Um, I've always felt that most good ideas start with a passion, a vision, and a dream. And I certainly think that there's nothing more true than uh, that passion, vision, and dream to create this trail system. First of all, I think uh, the passion of biking was what got us started in this endeavor. Many groups before the Clay County Trail Group had had the dream and the vision and just hadn't gotten the implementation or the backing and support that they possibly needed at that time to make it happen. So with the, the passion of biking and uh, the vision of having a safer roadway to be able to get connect us with the Iowa Great Lakes, uh, many people and many groups got together to make that happen. And having ridden the Raccoon River Valley tr Trail, which is down between Jefferson and Perry, um, I felt that safeness on the trail. And when I came back from that, I thought, how can we finally have this 50-year dream of a trail to Okaboji happen? And I thought to myself, who can I get to connect with that really has the, uh, the brains behind what we need to do to help develop the trail? So I definitely want to say a special thank you to Delroy Bredehoff. He was the brains, he had the, uh, the connections, he had all of the uh, details and information we needed to make that happen. And when I gave up being co-chair of the Clay County Trail Group, it was my extreme pleasure to hand it over to Jason Chaffin from Bikes, Boards, and Shades. out in Langdon and I just got to tell you I rode in this morning and we I had one car come to their lane past me and one go around me on a 10 mile commute and when I hit this trail out here and rode in it was like being on vacation it was just absolutely beautiful um, super excited we're working with the biking community all the time and I just want everybody to know how, how big a deal this really is when it comes down to it you can't believe the number of people that have asked us about, you know, is the trail open yet? But more than that, you know, and it's not just from Spencer, you know, riding out or riding right up the lakes here in the future, but the small communities around us, you know, people that can just drive, you know, 10 miles, half hour, Sheldon, Emmitsburg, um, and people from the lakes that have told me, hey, you know, there's a lot going on up here in the summer. I want to head south, you know, and just get on that open trail and go, you know, and so I just, I think when people really realize how many people are going to utilize this trail, it's just going to be wonderful. So. Thank you. Uh, thank you.
So uh, at this point, I think we're gonna do the ribbon cutting. Uh, <laughs> you know, I guess one thing I, I kind of failed to, to say about, you know, I guess a couple of things. But when, when I talk about trails, and Kathy says, you know, I've done a lot, and I, I appreciate that. But also, there's one other person I'd, I'd really be remiss to not mention. That's Dick Montgomery. He was he was just adamant about getting trails, and uh, Dick was on the park board for about. 24, 25 years, so I want to thank him for his time. So the other thing is, one of our missions when we first started was, we can go ahead and get that ribbon out here. Yeah, Kathy, Jason. Anybody? Maybe the Clay County group. Get up here, yeah. Clay County Biking Council Group, the trails people. Park board people. Get the bike machine. Okay. Uh, uh, one, one of our missions was to get a trail all the way around the, the city of Spencer, and uh, we, we really, with this, with these projects, are going to get there except for uh, on, on 18th Street from 10th Avenue East, Grand Avenue. So it's all coming together real quick. Delray, you need to cut it. You need to cut it. You're the cutter. You're the cutter. I'm not sure I can even do it. They're so darn heavy. <laughs> I declare this the Iowa Great Lakes Trail System. Woohoo! Oh, thank you. Uh, thanks. Yep. I can take over. Oh, I don't want that. You don't want to picture that? <laughs> okay, those of us that are riding, some of us are riding up the trail. Uh, so. Well, now, um, oh. does anybody from Trails Association want to talk about the, the riot event here today? You want, John, you want to talk about that? No? Are you going to be our leader? No, I've never been a leader. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, uh, For those uh, wanting to ride today, there's a couple of great opportunities to share our trail system made by you know Delray and everybody else. Uh, today, if you'd like, when we uh, leave here, when you hit 18th Street, if you'd like to just take a western ride, go ahead and head towards Stolly's via 18th Street. If you want to check out the great vacation ride, up to 310, so all we're going to do is make a right-hand turn by the Casey's and just head north. Take your time. Enjoy this system. Thanks, John. Yeah, there, that was, uh, for, for much we've heard this, yesterday they finally got the barricades off, so. Yeah, All right, well, with that, uh, I think we're kind of yeah. bringing this to an end, and uh, thank everyone for coming, um, and hopefully we got more things to celebrate in the future. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.